Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you an e-learning example created with InDesign and exported with N5. The lead designer was Jeremy Spiegel, and he worked with an experienced editor and a professional developmental specialist. Both of them have had direct classroom experience. Today, I'm going to show you one of a series of lessons that are designed to help young children, mostly in kindergarten, use a desktop or laptop computer. Children at this age often have used a touch device such as their parents smartphone or tablet. So this helps them get used to a mouse and get the sense of what a cursor is and how rollovers work. Later in the video I'm going to show you the teacher guide which is a PDF that comes with this. There are both student and teacher editions of these digital lessons. So let's take a look at the teacher edition of this lesson screen by screen. Each of these screens in this version of the lesson have audio instructions in the top right, so I'm just going to hover over that to hear the instructions. Move the cursor over each circle as many times as you'd like. When you're finished, click on the green arrow. So this first screen is the simplest. The idea is just to play with the rollovers and see that things change as you move the cursor. Each successive screen gets a little more interesting. So this one has animations. Each of these are native InDesign animations. They're motion presets that Jeremy applied in InDesign without doing any coding at all. And the next screen, this gets even a little more interesting. Each of these shapes change with rollover and they play a sound just making it a little more exciting, giving the kid a little more reward as they're interacting with the mouse and the cursor. This screen is even a little more interesting in that when we hover, we get to see animals. When Jeremy built these screens, he actually created all the artwork in Illustrator, including the circles, placed that into InDesign, and then he used the object layer options in InDesign to show and hide layers of those placed InDesign files. So all of his artwork was in there, and he could just change the state within InDesign, which is a pretty cool time saver if you want to create all your artwork in Illustrator or Photoshop. And then this last screen is uh, just a cornucopia of all the different kinds of rollovers that are in this lesson. Hi there. Hi there. Hey there. That was a lot of fun. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward lesson teaching one objective. Let's take a look at the guide that comes with this for the teachers. So here's the guide. It describes all the materials that can be used. There's technical notes about it, how to find it. You can see there's a child link as opposed to the teacher link that we were looking at. And there's information about the objectives. There's screen by screen instructions, including specific ideas on things that you can say to encourage the students as they're learning. By using N5, Jeremy and his colleagues were able to create a simple but engaging interactive lesson for students within a short time frame. If you want to see more examples of things that people are creating with N5, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.